Hi, my name's Alan. And I'm Santiago, and this is the next installment of my World Cup video blog, Russia 2018. We are out here on this beautiful day on the Camden Regional Trail, just uh, south of Marshall, Minnesota, just walking along, enjoying the beautiful day. All right, guys, so uh, just some housekeeping and a couple announcements. I noticed that I've been real bad about sharing my results to surveys I've conducted in some of my previous videos, and I need to catch up on one of them. Okay, so a few videos ago, I did a World Cup history survey with uh, my friend Don Pedroza. I need to share my results to that. So um, as far as the player of the 20th century, I would pick Pele of Brazil over Diego Maradona of Argentina, sadly. Obviously, for those of you who've been following my vlog, you know I'm a big Argentina fan. You can especially see that in my jersey, right? But yeah, um, I'd say Pele's better. Got to give it to him. Player of the 21st century, though, I would honestly and affectionately say that Lionel Messi is better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Not by much, but I do think he's better. So for players playing today, I would give the uh, tip my hat to Messi in that one. Uh, as far as the... Um, Let's see, the third one was, um, oh yes, uh, which is better, Hungary's 1954 offense or Italy's 1990 defense? I would say, I, I hate to say this because I also root for Italy, my dad was almost half Italian, but I would give the uh, nod to Hungary's 1954 offense. I think if those two teams met, Hungary would score at least two or three goals, even against Italy's almost impregnable 1990 defense. And also, um, let's see, the next one is I would give the nod to uh, Holland's 1974 midfield over West Germany's, even though West Germany beat Holland in the final. Um, but uh, I just think Holland had a better midfield, especially with Johan Cruyff playing. But still, uh, West Germany might have had a better team with uh, Franz Beckenbauer back in the defense and, and so forth. And then also, Brazil 1970, I think, is the best team ever. Not Brazil 2002, even though Brazil 2002 went 7-0 in that World Cup and had uh, Ronaldinho and Ronaldo. I still think Brazil 1970 uh, is the best team of all time. And then lastly, um, but which continent is better, South America or Europe? That's a tough one because Europe has won 11 World Cups. South America has won nine, obviously, with its big three of Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay. But I think uh, Europe is a slightly better soccer continent. Uh, just more club presence. Um, again, 11 World Cup titles to nine over South America, so I'll give a nod to Europe. Okay, now the second housekeeping thing is this, uh, injury roundup. So uh, we've been watching, I've been watching closely what players might or might not compete in Russia. It's been exciting to see 23 man rosters getting published, but um, so yeah, the two goalies who played in the last World Cup final, uh, Romero from Argentina and Neuer from Germany, it appears that both of them because of injuries are not gonna be playing in Russia in 2018, so pretty crazy. Also, we've been watching Sergio Aguero from Argentina, uh, Jerome Botain from Germany, uh, Harry Kane from England, very questionable. Um, also, Mohamed Salah from Egypt, Dani Alves from Brazil, and another big name, Neymar from Brazil. Uh, he might be ready just in time, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much the two housekeeping items I wanted to get to. So, now it's just up in air, just like the wind that blows here across the prairie. I've got nothing really planned. So Alan, it's just you and me time. Any questions you have about the World Cup, anything that is on your mind, feel free to ask me, anything. <laughs> Santi, um, so who is your utmost favorite player right now? Um, I would say, I would say Messi. Uh, he's very exciting to watch. He does great things for Barcelona, uh, especially in tandem with his, uh, even his rivals from uh, uh, Uruguay and Brazil. When he plays with them, when he plays with Suarez from Ur Uruguay, and when he's played with Neymar from Brazil, it's, it, it's really exciting to watch him together. Messi has great footwork. He uh, does things uh, taking down defenders, going through them, avoiding offside traps. I just love Messi. Great, great. Thanks for answering that one, Santi. Uh, I'm going to ask you the next one. It's um, what's your favorite position to play uh, when you're uh, playing soccer? 
Ooh, that's tough because I, I love soccer, but I'm not the best at playing at. But you know what? When I do get to play it, I, I, I would love being probably an attacking midfielder. You know, being close to, to all the action that's going on in the pitch. When you're an attacking midfielder or just a midfielder in general, you tend to be pretty close to the ball whether you're attacking or whether your opponent is uh, on the counterattack and you're defending. But uh, I'd say probably an attacking midfielder. I've got one more question, Santi, and that is, um, are, will you ever plan to go to uh, any of the World Cup games? Oh yes, that's a, that's a great question. Not this World Cup and probably not uh, for Qatar 2022 either, but depending on who's hosting the World Cup in 2026 or in future World Cups, i very much love to. I I'm so bummed that I was only three years old when the World Cup took place here in the U.S. in 1994. Uh, but yeah, depending on what country's hosting it, if it's a country that's uh, gen generally wel very welcoming to Americans, probably yes, but uh, maybe in 2026 or later. But yeah, great question. That's all I had. Okay, so all right, guys, um, it's just really exciting that the World Cup countdown is on. You can go to FIFA.com. It's really cool. They have this countdown clock that tells how many days, hours, and minutes we are from the kickoff of the opening match between Russia and Saudi Arabia uh, on June 14th at... Uh, it's going to be at 10 a.m. U.S. Central Time, I believe, so I think it's like 6 p.m. their local time. But yeah, that's when the first match will take place. Really looking forward to the whole tournament, all 64 matches, to see what happens. Um, the next time I'll be seeing you guys is probably on the 4th of July. Um, that's when I'll do my mid-tournament analysis, uh, talk about surprises and so forth. And uh, uh, until then, the things that are between that are Flag Day in the U.S. on June 14th. That's when the tournament starts, obviously. We've got uh, Father's Day, which, Alan, happy early Father's Day to you. And then also uh, the summer solstice. So uh, those things all will have passed by the time I shoot my next video, probably. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and let's give you mid-tournament analysis again. One, two, three. Adios! Adios.